Hello, this is Cooking Simplify with JJ Evans. This is part two to Crock-Pot Chicken, where we left off, we were in the Crock-Pot and we were cooking low and slow for three hours. And I told you after that, we were gonna go ahead and pop it into a baking pan and go ahead and drop it in the oven at 500 degrees for an additional 10 minutes to brown the chicken. Because even though we cooked it in the Crock-Pot and it was falling apart, it still looked uncooked and unpleasant. And people like things golden and caramelized and brown and fabulous. So, I'm about to go ahead and check our chicken right now. As you can see, it's nice and golden brown, almost like a turkey. It's almost time to come out the oven. It just has three more minutes on it. i like, in the meantime, I took the drippings from the chicken and I warmed them on the stove. I added a tablespoon of butter and then I added a one tablespoon of water. And then I added one tablespoon of cornstarch, which I whisked into the batter. And then I let this sit over medium heat for at least five to 10 minutes. And it's just starting to thicken now into a lemony, delicious gravy. So this can go over top of the chicken once it comes out of the oven and it's gonna fall off the bone even more. But in the meantime, and while this has been cooking for three hours, I had time to make some biscuits. And I made, of course, some steamed fresh broccoli, or not broccoli, green beans. And I made some white rice and I seasoned it very well. So it's just another take on baked chicken. This is all this is, but it's a whole lot better in my opinion. Okay. We're gonna take out our lovely chicken so you can see. As you can see, we still have the garlic and herbs over top of it and they caramelize very nicely. It's a nice golden brown. It's wonderful, it's juicy. You see all the drippings coming off the chicken and our gravy is ready. We have our rice and we have our French cut green beans also. And then we also have Southern biscuits. And to go with that, I already had some cinnamon butter already in the fridge. This has been Cooking with JJ Evans, the Simplify with Cooking with JJ Evans. Thank you, good night.